Hi, I'm Dark Convoy. This is Davis Theater. We're the two fat guys in the morning on every week at 8 p.m. And don't Remember, you miss it. Don't forget it. Okay, the premise of these series of videos, Dark Convoy over here, has moved more times in the last couple years than he has fingers and toes combined. All right, maybe not quite that many, but been quite a few moves, quite a few toys have been packed away, to the point where the boxes are mint, not labeled. Ah, they are not labeled. We are not real certain what's in these boxes. So, though I am missing a hamster, so he might be in the box. Actually, um, I think you might want to blame that booby kid for that. I don't know. But anyway. That's not funny. Oh, okay. That's probably the gerbil. Think so? Yes, that's decomposing gerbil. Hamster has more of an automatic... Mm, might know. explain a lot of things. Okay. So anyways, these have become mystery boxes because they weren't labeled, and they've been shuffled around and stacked in no particular order. So what's in these boxes? Well, yeah. it's almost guaranteed they have Transformer stuff in them. However... We, we could have, have broken figures. Broken Batgirl figures. We, uh, we could have anything from Energon. And incidentally, for those of you Bayformers fans, this is what Mudflap is supposed to look like. Yes. <laughs> We've got tiny tins. Or what are, what, what are these? Yeah, tiny tins. With spy changers inside With spy of them. Changers. We could have milk trucks. You may even have oddball collectible keychains. So what we have decided to do is open a box for every web show. This is our first web show, so we're kind of testing this out. What we would do, we would custom paint a transformer, like this one. Hello, my number is... Oh, wrong way, sorry. And we will give him off as a prize. We'll, if we get enough people entering at least 100 views a week, we'll even let you pick the color to customize it. We'll just buy the picture, you tell them what color to customize it, I'll customize it. But we got to get 100 viewers a week. Okay. And we're going to try to make this worth your while, too. Not just two toys and prizes. Yeah, we <laughs> might give up, you know, some... We might let you live. We might let your family survive. Hey, hey. We might send you some raw bologna. It might not be good by the time it gets there, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, and it's not our fault that the mail carrier is slow. Yeah, they might eat it also, so we never know. Okay, this is the premise of our contest that we're going to run. You are supposed to email us and tell us what five things in here are. At least five things that are in here. Now, it, it only has two things in here. If you get two right, then, you know, you want the, the prize, your custom. But if you don't, well, you know, you got to guess five th exact things. More than likely, there's going to be Transformers in there. Now, I know you're going to say, hey, you know what? It's going to be hard to win, but hey, that's what makes it fun. Because I don't know what's in the box. Dave doesn't know what's in the and box. And gen generic answers like, there's a Batman figure in there. Well, there could be a whole box full of Batman figures. Try and guess, you know, like which specific Batman figure or which... Or at least the names of the Transformers characters. Don't just say, you've got Transformers in that box. Ha ha, I win. Give me my prize. I'm stupid. It does not work that way. <laughs> stupid people make me sad. Okay. And incidentally, we might just have to give stupid prizes to stupid people. Like, <laughs> yeah, very good guess, dummy. We're going to mail you a dead roach. <laughs> hey, I think I saw one of those behind the kitchen cabinet. Hold oh, on. Uh, you did. Well, not there anymore. <laughs> okay, well, this is the first box. We're going to see what's in here. We're going to see what's in here. I have not opened these boxes, so if there's any porno mags, they put them in here. Okay, well, we got a notebook. Oh, we got Transformers. This is how we're going to do it, folks. Classics Ultra Magnus. Okay, there's no these in there. Robot Masters. Black, Megatron. Black Megatron. Beach Convo uh, Beach Megatron. The regular... Robot Master. And he was apparently listening to an iPod recently because he's still wrapped up in the earbuds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes to listen to metal jazz for some of the reason. While wow, looking, what else we have here, I do believe, we have... Uh, Optimus Primo. Robot Masters. And then you, we also have Titanium Megatron. The large Titanium Megatron. Titanium Optimus Prime. All beat up and scary. <laughs> Description of the type of robot is not necessary. You do not need to say he's missing the right limb. 
As long as you got the robot name. Oh, no, I like that. And line. The red robot masters, these convoy. The lion convoy. Or Leo convoy, whatever the hell they want to call him now. The black version of, of Optimus Primal. And this is what Transformers wash away their uh, their dandruff with. Head and shoulders. Yeah. Apparently the rest of this guy is in another box somewhere. Now, if you say, oh, you have a G1 sword in there, that would be fine. We'll accept that answer. Sure. But this is a G1 sword. I don't know what the heck it's doing. In there. But it's a G1 sword. So that's the basic idea. We just want the name of the figure and the line it's from. And it could be anything. Oh, look, they handed me a sandwich made with fresh roaches. Mmm. <laughs> it's looking at me back. Okay. A roach sandwich. Mmm. Goes very good with a slug sundae. Mmm. Yum, yum, good. So guess five things in the box. If there's not five things in the box, well, if there's only four things, as long as you got the four, you're good to go. Yeah, we're not going to be real picky on getting them right. And hey... We want to give away these customs. Or, you know, yeah, we can paint them up for ourselves to have for cool parts of our collection, but it's really fun to, more fun to have toys if you got people to share them with. We're hoping you, the viewers, will want to share with us. Yeah, damn, my wife is telling me if I don't get rid of half of my junk, she's going to divorce me. Yeah, well, and though when I thought about it, I thought it was a good idea, but later on when I counted all the stuff I would lose, I decided against it, so i got to get rid of a whole bunch of these customs. Yeah, no. Yeah, and she's a great cook, i got to say that. So anyways I love you honey <laughs> This has been the premiere episode of Two Fat Guys Named Dave Weeknights at 8pm Thank and you very much we will discuss other stuff And yes These shows don't necessarily intend We don't intend for them to be all Transformers based It just happened to be uh, One of our common passions So we figured the first show Would be about Transformers But till next time We're going to be signing off now I'm Dave Stater And I'm Dark Convoy Saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next Two Fat Guys Named Dave. Bye. Hello, folks. This is Two Fat Guys Named Dave with you once again. I'm Davis Dater. I'm Dark Convoy. And as we mentioned before, we're having a contest. Well, we're going to add a few rules to the contest. For one, try to limit your guests to just five guesses per entry ten. per week. We'll give them ten. You want to make it ten? Let's we'll give them ten. ten. You can give ten. Of course, the maximum winning en entries allowed is five. Should you go over that amount, which is unlikely, but should it happen, we're going to limit the win to just the five. Yeah, we're going to pick the first five we receive. This is the box for next week, because we're novices. We forgot to show them to you last, in the last video. But we're showing it to you now. Yes. Now, if you want a hint, we can shake the box. Can I help you? Hmm. I don't know. I thought I heard a... Um, I'm pretty sure there's a Barbie doll in there. Oh my god, did you hear what she said about Ken? Anyway. Yeah, he's a slut. Another oh. thing we want to point out is that you notice some of these bar boxes are marked G1 for Jilly. Okay. Just because the box says G1 on it doesn't automatically mean that's what's in it. Because take this box, for instance. They were packed by my wonderful kids, which I will not kill today. It says what? Important G1. You open the box. Oh my lord, it's classics! And keep in mind, this is not the same box you're going to be guessing at for next week's video. Yep, so uh, putting classics Megatron might not help you. Okay, classics and alternators. So, it might not be G1 that's inside that little box. Okay, and another thing we've decided was that maybe you're thinking... This is just kind of a weak contest. You don't really have much to keep guessing at, do you? Just in case any of you have any such doubts, we will show you my future toy room. We're going to show you the future of this contest and the future of Dark Coin Boys to Toy Room. Yes. Now, as you can see, there's a shoot load of boxes, and they are double rolled. So anything could be in these boxes. Blow up dolls, transformers, dead animals. We're laying claim to any blow up dolls, though, of course, yes. for obvious reasons. They, they belong up to us. They belong to us. Okay, but um, this is, will be my future toy room. We'll be doing our videos in here, hopefully. Hopefully. You see, right now it looks like crap. 
bunch of junk. Clean up your room. Wow. Hey, we are cleaning it up, Mom. Cut it out, Mom. So. So put in those guesses. You may hit. You may not. You might be a winner. You might be a loser. But at least this way you'll know. You'll and never be a booby. You never. So until next week, this is the Davis Dater. This is Dark Convoy. Saying so long for now from two fat guys named Dave.